Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because we are going to be talking about some empty makeup products. Well, not really makeup, beauty products. I've actually kind of added on things that I've used up in my makeup artist kit. I'll tell you which ones they are, which ones are like kit related and which ones are personal. I thought that could be like, I don't know, a fun twist on just a regular empties video. I just wanted to film something a little bit more easy to edit because of my anxiety. Um, I have a hard time focusing. So something that that requires a lot of intricate editing is not really in the cards for me right now. So I hope you guys understand. I feel like these aren't like the most fun to watch, but I know there are a select few people who really do like them. So I thought I would do it anyways because I've been saving my garbage up for like three months. Also, before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of the love and the support on my latest video and my last few updates. Regarding me struggling with mental health, I'm still struggling, not gonna lie, but this has served as a really nice distraction for me. Just talking about whatever, even if it's just beauty related, been really nice and very helpful. And all of your guys' kind words do mean quite a bit to me. So thank you so much. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get started because I feel like I have a lot of stuff. Let's just get started. First thing I have here, this is by Paula's Choice. It is the Pore Normalizing Cleanser for blemish prone skin. I liked this, this was fine. I don't think I'll repurchase it uh, just because I don't find that cleansers really stay on my skin long enough to make a difference with those active ingredients but it was a good cleanser. It was pretty solid. I just, I prefer something a little cheaper for a cleanser because it's just a cleanser. You know what I mean? I don't need anything fancy. I just need it to cleanse. That's it. You know, cleanser. One that I actually really did enjoy, and I know that it is pretty affordable, this brand. This is by Good Molecules. This is the Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. I didn't even know it was rose water until I just read it just now. It doesn't have any fragrance, or does it? Have I been like missing that this whole time? No, okay. So it's fragrance free, it's very gentle, it's a glass bottle which I like because it's more likely to be recycled. I just, I really enjoyed this. I would definitely consider repurchasing this. I'm not sure if Good Molecules is super readily available in Canada. From what I know, it's not. But I did get this in PR, this was sent to me. I'll also kind of distinguish what was sent to me and what was bought. I think most of these things were purchased by me. This first cleanser was bought by me as well. This was sent. Um, I really enjoyed it. It lasted me a nice long time. It was gentle. It did what it was supposed to do. Yeah, I would definitely repurchase this one depending on the price Again, I don't like spending a lot on cleansers just because it doesn't really treat my skin or do anything special But I did enjoy this one. It was a good one. Next up. I have this product by Marcel This is the micellar water. I really like this. I use it in my kit as well I have like a mini one and I use that because it's more travel friendly and I just kind of refill that bottle This was also purchased by me. I repurchase this constantly. Bioderma is not cruelty free So I find this is like like a dupe, if you will. It's not like quite as good as Bioderma. I feel like Bioderma is like the OG. It works really well for sensitive skin. It's oil-free, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, and hypoallergenic for sensitive skin and eyes. I don't have either, but like, well, I guess kind of a sensitive eye area. But yeah, I just find that this works really well. It removes all of my makeup. It removes sunscreen at the end of the day. I use this before I cleanse my face. I also use it to remove makeup. It's just really solid. I really like it. It's a cruelty-free option for the Bioderma. And yeah, I think it's, um, I don't know what I was gonna say. My brain just stopped working. Okay, <laughs> I'll just move on then. Ooh, this one I actually really did like. I think I have another one in my drawer, I think. This is again by Paula's Choice. This is the Anti-Redness Exfoliating Solution. It's like a toner. I really enjoy this. I purchased it myself. It's 2% salicylic acid for blemish prone skin. The thing I like about this product is even though it's salicylic acid and it's supposed to exfoliate, it doesn't make my skin feel dry. It actually does quite the opposite. It almost has like a little bit of a slip to it. I don't know what ingredient it is that makes it do that, but it's definitely not drying. Uh, yeah, so I really like this. It works really well for me. I get some stubborn clogged pores in this area so I find that this really works in helping me manage that. I would definitely recommend this. It's supposed to be anti-redness but I find that it works for blackheads, whiteheads, pretty much anything. So yeah I wouldn't recommend the cleanser as much. If you're going to invest in something I would recommend something like this. I just find that it works so well and since it stays on your skin it actually like has the opportunity for those active ingredients to really work. Overall would highly recommend this. All of the products so far also have been personal use products. Um, I'll let you know when we get to a kit product. Another one, this is by Glow Recipe. It's the Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream, smoothing and moisturizing. I really liked this. I would definitely not repurchase though. First of all, it smells really nice like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, but not in an annoying way. It's very subtle. Yeah, 
it's nice. I find that since lately I've been really scent sensitive and I'm unsure of why that is because I used to really love strong fragrance. So this one is much lighter. The reason I would not repurchase this is because I just went through it so fast. I went through this in like two and a half weeks. That being said, I do take a shower every day, even if it's not washing my hair, I do try and shower every day. And uh, I use a moisturizer after I shower. So that's using it every day for two and a half weeks. I just, it was too expensive to justify that. I think this was around $38 Canadian and I don't know, I just went through it way too quickly to justify it. But as a nice treat, I would repurchase it, but I mean like it's not my new holy grail, if that makes sense. If it was cheaper, definitely, but since it's not, maybe just for special occasions. But I did really like it. It was nice and light, it did moisturize, it felt smoothing, it was hydrating, it didn't feel too heavy on the skin, which was really nice. The scent wasn't annoying, but it was still definitely there. So yeah, overall I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a new body cream, but just expect for it to go quickly. I just used it way too fast and it's too expensive for me to actually justify using this as like my everyday body cream. If you have any recommendations for body creams, I'm still on the market for a really good one, leave them in the comments down below because I really like trying new ones. I do like scented ones personally, not lately because when I'm anxious, I get really bad like sensory issues. I don't know what it is, but I can't do like loud noises. I can't do strong fragrances, strong tastes. I can't even do like all I've been eating is bagels. I usually do like scented things when I'm not in like panic crisis mental health mode so let me know in the comments down below what your favorite body cream is and I would love to try it out. Another body cream, I actually did really like this one but I don't think I would repurchase it. Well, I liked it but my skin didn't. This is by Lush and it is the Sympathy for the Skin Body Lotion. It's supposed to be fresh bananas, sandalwood, and cocoa butter on the skin. I don't smell banana. Actually, I don't smell anything because I cleaned it out. I liked the feeling of this. I also liked how light the fragrance was. It wasn't overpowering. It wasn't annoying. It wasn't overly sweet or anything. The reason I would not get this again is because it made my shoulders and back break out really badly. So I avoided putting it on those areas, but even if I put it like on my arms, for example, I would just put it like up to here so that my shoulders would, oh, you can't even see that. I would put it like up to here so that my shoulders wouldn't break out, but even just wearing it and like putting a t-shirt on, if it migrated at all and even a little bit went on my shoulders I would break out. I think it must have something to do with the oils. I also do really struggle with like acne on my shoulders and back which is weird because I don't really struggle with it on my face as much and it used to be the other way around so I don't know what's going on there but I would not repurchase this. If you have acne prone skin on your body I would definitely not recommend this but if you're like super dry and you don't have that problem I would say give this a go. It's very hydrating, it's very thin, it's just really nice. It's just the breakout part. I can't do that, you know? So yeah, would recommend this for dry skin. If you're acne prone, I would definitely steer clear. Oh, this is a kit product. This is by Ardell. This is the Not Free Double Flare Individual Lashes. I've been really into individuals lately. I just find that they're a lot more comfortable for people that don't wear lashes frequently. If you don't like strip lashes, try these. They are more tedious and kind of annoying, but like, it works. And yeah, I do like these ones. I do prefer the foam make version, but these are also really nice. I really like them. Uh, these are in short. I find that the long ones, I pretty much exclusively use short and medium by Ardell because the long ones are just like really quite long. So yeah, if you don't like strip lashes, I would definitely recommend venturing into the world of individuals. They are a little more time consuming. They can be a bit annoying, but the effect is super beautiful, super natural, even when you use the double flares. I actually like the double flares more than the just like original ones because they give more of an effect. So I find I have to apply like less of them to get my desired look. Uh, so yeah, these were in my kit, really like them. I've already replaced them because I can't really go without them. So if you're a makeup artist and you haven't tried these, I would get on it, they're good. Ooh, another kit product. This was a uh, contour powder by KVD. It's in the shade Shadow Play. I just really liked this. I wish, I oh, there might be a little bit on the side where I can swatch it for you. Just a really nice color that I found looked good on like most people. Just like a contour powder. I would use it as like bronzer or, you know, contour, whatever I needed. It's warm enough to still warm up the skin. You can see it right there. It's a really nice undertone. I really like it. And I really like that KVD offers refillable pans so that I don't have to buy like a whole new palette just to get this one shade. I can just repurchase just this little pan. I've been really liking this quite a bit. One that I'm just decluttering out of my kit, like for good, I don't really like it. This is by ColourPop. This is in the shade Private Party. I've also tried to use this for personal use and 
also did not like it. I just find that it's super um, orangey and not at all what I'm going for. It's super orangey and shimmery. So I feel like it kind of gives you like a Jersey Shore type look. I don't know. It doesn't give like a nice glowy bronzy look. They kind of look like similar undertones on camera. This is the ColourPop one and this is the KBD. But in person, this one pulls a lot more red and I don't love the glow on it. If I'm gonna go for a glow, I usually don't do it with the bronzer. So yeah, I'm just gonna declutter this. It's not my favorite. I've had that experience before. I bought it for personal use because it looks a lot lighter on the website than it does in person. And uh, it didn't look flattering on me at all. So this is actually my second time decluttering it because apparently I didn't learn the first time. Next up, I have a hair care product. This is by Mark Anthony Professional. I didn't pay for this, but I don't remember where I got it. This is the Grow Long Anti-Breakage Mask uh, with caffeine and ginseng. I liked this fine. It worked well. I don't know if I would like go out and repurchase it right away. Well, I know I wouldn't because I haven't yet and this has been empty for like a little bit now. I would just use this in the shower if I felt I needed a little more hydration. It worked well, but like nothing too crazy. I would actually prefer like a leave-in conditioner. I don't know. I just feel like those are more effective. Probably wouldn't repurchase this, but it was nice while it lasted. Next up, I have a product by Paula's Choice. This is the Moisture Boost Hydrating Treatment Cream. If you follow me for any amount of time, you probably know about this already, but I love it. I'm already going through another one and I have a backup for that one too. So yeah, I just love this. I use it as an eye cream and lately an all over face cream because it's just easier. I've been having a hard time taking care of myself if I'm honest. So just just something that's really easy and I know works is like ideal right now. So normally I would use just this as an eye cream because I love it so much that I like don't want to go through it super quickly and I use something else on the face. But as of late, because I've been having like a hard time, I just need to keep my routine as simple as possible and I've been using it on the face and it just, it works wonders. It's just so good. I love this product. If you have dry skin, oily skin, whatever, I would highly, highly recommend this product. This was a little sample cream that I got to try. This is by Sunday Riley and it is the Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. First of all, this is fragranced. I prefer my skincare to not be fragranced. It's not offensive at all. It's a sweet scent. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it smells like, but it's not like offensive at all. I did like this though. It did make my skin feel really nice. Um, I know Sunday Riley is pretty expensive, so I don't think I would repurchase it because I don't like it better than my Paula's Choice. Actually, I just wanna see how expensive it is. Wasn't Sunday Riley the brand that like made up their own reviews? Like made their employees write positive reviews on their product? I don't remember. I do remember that scandal though. Okay, yeah, so the Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream retails for $86 and this is like, I think half of that. So I'm definitely gonna stick with this because I didn't like the Sunday Riley better. It's supposed to strengthen the natural moisture barrier against environmental stressors for plump looking baby soft skin. It did give me very soft skin, I will say that. That being said, I don't know if it will protect against environmental stressors. I feel like that's a very trendy thing for brands to be doing right now. So yeah, I would definitely not purchase the full size, but it was a nice little sample. It lasted me quite a while, it lasted me like a few weeks actually, because it is like more of a thicker cream, but I don't really like the fragrance in it, that's the only thing. And the price tag, don't like that either. Next up, we have something by Fourth Ray Beauty. This was sent to me. This is the Super Fresh All Over Cleansing Towelettes. I actually really like these. I don't really go through makeup wipes that quickly. I got these back in December and I finished them around a month ago so they lasted me seven months. I don't use them on my face. I use them when I do like swatches and for when I'm creating content and stuff like that I'll use them to like clean up my hands and stuff. So it's definitely not something I'm using on my face and that's why I go through them a lot slower. But I really did like these. They are fragranced I'm pretty sure. There's no fragrance in there anymore but I think they were. It's free from parabens, silicones, and synthetic fragrances. So synthetic fragrances, I think there was a little bit of a scent though. So I don't know. I just really liked these. I think this is my favorite makeup wipe that I've tried in a long time. That being said, I'm not like a makeup wipe connoisseur. I don't go through them very often. So I'm not really trying new things all that often. I would definitely add these to the cart next time I'm placing a ColourPop order just so I could have these, you know, for like, video purposes. I would recommend them. I think they were good. Didn't use them on my face. I don't think even once though. So maybe don't take my word for it. Next up, I have another hair care product. This is by Live Clean Exotic Nectar. It's a leave-in conditioner spray with argan oil. I just got this from Shoppers Drug Mart because I needed something for my bleached ends when I had them. I recently chopped them off. As you can see, my little nubbin in the back. I chopped all the bleach off so I don't need a leave-in conditioner quite as bad. I just use this as like a 
detangler almost and it worked really well the only thing is whenever I would spray it and I would like breathe it in like I wouldn't actively breathe it in if I like did on accident it would make me cough really badly so that's a little concerning I don't know it's phthalate free paraben free it was good I liked it it wasn't my favorite in the world like this isn't my holy grail product I would definitely you know try something else next time I'm in the market for one of these but yeah it definitely did the trick and I liked it next up I have a product from pharmacy this is the green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm I love this I don't realize how much I love this product until I use other cleansing balms and I'm like they're okay but they're not my gleam Glean cream, green clean. It's just the best one, I think. Uh, it is pretty heavily fragranced though. It's like a citrusy scent. Yeah, it's not bothersome. Oh no. Not like offensive to me personally, but if you don't like citrus, like probably stay away. I know they do have a couple different scents, but I really do like this formula. It's great, melts all your makeup off like immediately. No work involved, no tugging. It's just fantastic. I love, love, love this. Next up, I have a shampoo. This is by Maui Moisture. It's the Revive and Hydrate Shea Butter one. I don't know, I like it. It's really affordable, silicone free. I just liked it. I would definitely repurchase this. I'm currently working on a conditioner by Monday Hair Care. You know that brand? I saw them at Walmart and they were super affordable, so I bought that. And yeah, I'm working through that right now, but afterwards I would definitely consider repurchasing this. I don't have a ton to say about it because I'm not a hair guru. And I feel like it has pretty good ingredients. There's shea butter, coconut oil, macadamia oil. I feel like that's pretty good. I don't really know anything about hair ingredients though, so I shouldn't be trusted. And it was really affordable and I can't afford to spend a lot on expensive hair care currently. Okay so I have two lash glues that are both by House of Lashes. This is my favorite lash glue. I'm about to finish up my third bottle. These are my favorite. Love it. The absolute best in my personal opinion. I just find that it works so well. It doesn't irritate my eyes. There's no latex in this so I'm comfortable using it on clients. I think one of these was from my kit and the other one was just like from personal use. And yeah, I will repurchase this over and over and over again. I'm not currently using it in my kit. I'm using the Duo because I couldn't get my hands on it for some reason. It was all sold out on the House of Lashes website. It's not available on the Sephora website in Canada anymore. And then Sephora stores were closed. That's where I usually get it is like actual Sephora physical physical stores and they were closed for so long and I haven't been to one. So yeah, I have a duo one right now and I don't like it nearly as much as this one. This one is the OG. For skincare, this is a product by Illumier. This is the Clear Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 42. I did like this. It kind of made my skin a little bit sticky. It doesn't really bother me though and it did have that kind of white cast when you put it on at first, but with a mineral sunscreen, I really don't think you can avoid that. But I still really liked it. I would, would I repurchase though? Mm, that's a little hard to determine. I would have to refresh my memory on the price. I'm currently using one that is I think like under $20 for sure. So I really like that one. And I would say that they're kind of similar. So I don't know if I'd repurchase this one just because of the price. I know Illumier is more of an expensive brand, but I'm sure the ingredients are probably significantly better. Again, not super knowledgeable on ingredients. So take what I say with a grain of salt. I just thought it was a little expensive because I go through sunscreen rather quickly lately because I slather that shit on because I'm 26, okay? I'm gonna be old soon. Wow, I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot more than I thought I did. This is one that I'm just getting rid of because I cannot stand it. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. This is the translucent one. All of my friends that love this product love it in the shade Vanilla, so I don't know. Maybe I'll try it in that shade, but the translucent one sucks. It messes with like every foundation that I have. I just like, I don't want to use that because it makes me look super cakey and dry and I don't want to look like that. So yeah, this is a no from me, the translucent one. I don't know about the vanilla one because I've heard a lot of people that really, really love it. So maybe I'll try that one, but I'm kind of hesitant because this was brutal, just brutal. It messes with my reviews too. I think it was my Fenty Bright Fix Concealer Review. I'll link it in the cards up above. I used that powder to set it. I should have known better, first of all. But yeah, it just really messed with it and it made it look awful. Another translucent powder. This is by Milani. This is translucent light to medium. I liked it. I don't think it's the best powder. Like I definitely prefer my Laura Mercier over this one, but this definitely did the trick when I was in a pinch and when I was not really able to spend the money on the Laura Mercier, this was really good. I really enjoyed it and I would repurchase it if I was in a pinch. I do prefer the Laura Mercier one though, but I would definitely prefer this over the Anastasia one and it's cheaper, so. Just saying. Oh, speaking of powder, this is a mini Laura Mercier. It's my favorite, would repurchase time and time again. I love it. Next up, what is this? Oh, 4-3 Beauty Glow Up Face Oil. I really like this. 
I used it for a little bit um, on some stretch marks I had. I didn't really find it did anything for that though, but I felt like I was doing something, you know? Like I think it was more placebo. I really like this for a face oil. I used this a lot for my gua sha tool. It just provided like a really slick base for me to effectively maneuver my tool over my face. It really worked. So it did the trick and it's really affordable. I love that 4th Ray Beauty provides, you know, like more affordable products. It's not supposed to really do anything like substantial, but it's like really good if you need just an oil. You know what I mean? Next up, we have the KVD Beauty. Beauty Lash Primer. I didn't like this very much. It didn't do anything for my lashes, so I found I didn't really end up using it. I just don't really like lash primers. I do like that this one isn't white. That's one thing. So if you're in the market for a lash primer and you do find that they work for you, maybe try this. I'm not really a good person to review lash primers though because I already have the bias that I don't like them. I wouldn't repurchase this. This was sent to me. Not my favorite, but if you like lash primers, maybe give it a try. I don't know. Maybe go to somebody who actually tried lash primers to determine if it's something that you would like but yeah it wasn't for me personally one product that is for me and I will repurchase until the day that I stop wearing eyeliner is the KVD tattoo liner in trooper black this is so good I love that Kat Von D no longer profits off this so I will continue to repurchase baby I just love this thing I wear it every single time I do my makeup every single time not an exaggeration at all okay one last skincare product that I actually really enjoyed this is again from 43 beauty this was sent to me all the 43 beauty stuff are sent to me this is the Soak It Up Hydrating Hyaluronic Mask. I actually really enjoyed this. I would just use it as a moisturizer though. I didn't really use it as like a face mask. I don't enjoy face masks very much, but I really enjoyed using this as like an overnight moisturizer. I woke up and my face was glowy, very hydrated, very plump. Really liked this. I would definitely recommend it. I have two mascaras, one I would recommend and one I would not. The first one that I would not recommend is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I just didn't really like it. I don't love this kind of brush though, so I am slightly biased. Almost like a Too Faced Better Than Sex kind of brush, so if you do like that product, then maybe try this one. I don't really like that product either, not really for me, but if you do like those kind of brushes, you might like this. Yeah, it just didn't really do much for my lashes personally. One that I did really like is the NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Scare. I did like this because it is a rubberized wand. I just really like those better for my lashes. I find that they, you know, really separate nicely. And I just thought it was really a good mascara. I used it for quite a while, probably too long actually. And this one is a vegan formula. So if you're vegan, this would be a good drugstore mascara for you. If you like rubberized wands, that is. And my final product. <laughs> Finally, we're on the last one. I feel like I've had so much stuff to talk about. This is by ColourPop. This is the Brow Boss Gel. Usually ColourPop stuff is sent to me, but I actually did purchase this one. Yeah, I didn't really like this. It's like super light. It's white. So it's supposed to be clear. It's white. I just didn't like that it was white. It kind of left like an ashy cast in my brows and that just wasn't for me. So I don't think I would repurchase this, but I'm happy I tried it. It didn't really last long and like keep my brows in place for very long. So yeah, I would just recommend getting like a bar of glycerin soap. That works better for me in my opinion and it's cheaper, so. And those are all of my product empties. I feel like this video went by really quickly, but I think I have been talking for a significant amount of time. Things just always go by quickly when you're having fun, you know? So yeah, I think that is it for my product empties. Let me know what you guys have finished up recently and what you liked and what you didn't i would be super interested to know and yeah i think that is it from me today thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far please don't forget to subscribe if you want to if you don't that's okay i just really appreciate you being here it helps out my channel so very much by you watching so thank you please leave any video requests you may have in the comments down below and i will see you in my next video bye guys